Hi, my name is Brandon Hatcher. Today I'm going to give a video tutorial of how to download Scribus on a Mac, as well as how to import and edit images in the Scribus program. This video is formulated as a final project for Dr. Botch's technical writing course at UAB. To begin our video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download Scribus onto your Mac. Simply open up Safari and go to Google. From Google, type in Scribus for Mac, and it should bring you to this page. I use the softtonic.com version right here. It seemed to be very reliable, and the program downloaded very quickly for me. Now here, you'll just, of course, click Download, and you'll see the program pop up in your download drop-down box at the top right-hand corner of your web browser. Simply click on that, and it'll bring you to this page where Scribus is downloaded. What you will do from here is you'll take your Scribus icon and drag it over into your Applications folder. This will add Scribus to your applications, that way you have an ease of access, and it will also allow Scribus to be opened on your Mac. At this time, you may now close all of your screens that you have open here to get back to your home screen. Now, Scribus will give you trouble opening if you do not follow this next very important step. Simply go down to your icon menu and find your system preferences. Open your system preferences icon and then in this you're going to want to find your security and privacy icon. Click on that which will bring you to this screen. You will want to unlock so that you can make changes to your security and privacy settings. So just type in your password and have that unlocked. The part that we're going to focus on changing in order to open Scribus is how you allow your apps to be downloaded. Now Macs typically come with it down to be downloaded from Mac App Store and identified developers. In order for our Scribus program to be opened, we will have to enable the Anywhere option so that we can open Scribus in our Mac. So once you have clicked Anywhere, just go ahead and lock your security and privacy back and close out your system preferences. Now we are ready to begin opening Scribus and to import our images in there. So go to your applications and open Scribus. When Scribus opens, if you do not have Ghost Script installed on your Mac, do not worry about it for our purposes here. It does not matter. Simply click OK. Now it will bring you to this. Um, this screen is just simply how you want your page to be set up. If you want a fold or if you want it just to be one single page. Um, all image importing is the same all across the board for however you decide to have your page layout. So for our purposes today, I'm just going to select the single page option and then click OK. And it will bring us this blank page here. Now we're ready to import our image. In order to import an image, simply go up to the insert tab and then you're going to want to insert image frame click that it will turn your cursor into a click and drag so simply click on your page and drag it however big you want your image frame to be and then you're going to see this image frame with an X in the middle now for MacBook users you'll want to use your index finger and your middle finger to double click here into this image frame and then it will bring this drop down menu. Click on get image here and then it will bring you into your documents where you'll be able to import your image to Scribus. So I saved mine as a JPEG and that's a very safe option just use JPEG for your saving. Um, just double click this and it will bring our image over into our frame. Now what we'll notice is our image is cut out of our frame because our frame was too small to fit the image. So the way to get your image to fit your frame is you just click the front the image and you'll go up to item here and just go straight down to adjust image to frame now what this does is it will make your image small enough to fit your frame to suit your needs so I'm going to adjust the image to the frame and we'll see that our picture goes in here beautifully and you can just collapse the whiteness that you have around it once you get to this stage you can move your image anywhere around the page that you would like um, you can move it so that you can uh, add text wrapping or whatever you want to do with your document. But that's how you get an image to fit your frame. Now, say you have an image that you just want to be the size that you downloaded it as. 
So what you what you can do then is just go to insert again image frame make a frame it doesn't matter how big your frame is at this point because we're going to adjust the frame size to fit the image so here again just follow the same process to get the image double click with your index and middle finger click on get image and then find the image that you want to bring in which is right here your flower image so I'm gonna bring this in then what I'm gonna do differently here is I'm just going to simply go up to item and I'm going to adjust frame to image so then our frame fits our actual sized image. So this will allow you to use your actual size image. Now the problem here again is if you decide to change your image frame, it's going to cut your image. So what you, all you have to do all you have to do to fix this is you can just go right up in here to insert. I mean, I'm sorry, go right up here to item and then go to adjust image to frame and it will bring your image back down to fit into your frame and then you can start moving your image frame again around the page however you would like to to best suit your needs. This concludes our video tutorial of how to download Scribus onto your Mac and how to import and resize images on Scribus using a Mac. I hope you've enjoyed our video tutorial. This video is brought to you by the Professional Writing Club. For more information, follow us on Twitter at PWClub at UAB and like us on Facebook at Professional Writing Club at UAB.